Now we want to go ahead and connect to the actual server through Dreamweaver and upload our files. So once your server is set up, you've got all these icons that are available. The first one is to connect to the remote server. So this little plug looking icon, we're going to go ahead and connect. And it's going to show you that it's trying to connect down at the bottom of the files panel. And once it is successful, it will let you know that the file activity is complete. And you get a check mark saying you are in fact connected. The next thing is what are you uploading? Now what you have selected over here in the files is going to be very important because you don't want to be click on this full folder. You want to instead click on the files that you'd like to have. You don't want to put things on the web server that you don't need because you have a limited amount of space on the web server. Think of it almost like a thumb drive. If you have a limited amount of space on your thumb drive, what are you going to put on it to hold that people actually need to see? We don't need people to see the not for web folder. We don't need that up on our web hosting server because it's got our Illustrator file in it and most people don't have Illustrator anyway. So we don't need that piece. We do need our index file because that's our homepage. And if your homepage is not called index.html, you need to stop right now and go rename it. Your website will not work if your file is not called index.html and that's for every website you create. So no matter what you create from this point forward, your homepage will be called index.html on every website. We want our style sheet because everything is linked to our style sheet. We want the other three pages that we've created for favorite food, recipe, and least favorite food. And then lastly, we've got our picture up here and that picture is sitting inside the assets folder, which means not only do we need the picture, but we also need the assets folder so that this link will work not only on our local computer, but on the web hosting computer as well. So essentially, we want everything from assets all the way down, but we don't want the not for web. So I'm going to click up on assets, hold shift on my computer, click on least favorite food, and that will select everything. I'm then going to hold control on my computer to deselect not for web, and then the rest of these should be blue. Make sure that site up at the top is not blue as well, or whatever color your Dreamweaver is showing, because I'm in the dark mode. We're then going to upload these. So the up arrow allows you to put the files to the remote server. So I'm going to click this button and it's going to start uploading them down here, letting me know what it's transferring. It's going to ask me if I want to transfer dependent files. This means that it's like saying that, hey, you have some files that may need to get uploaded that you didn't select. Would you like to transfer them? And we can click yes just in case, but we also know that we pretty much selected everything it needs. And you'll see it go through as it continues to upload them. And when it's done, it'll say file activity complete. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and go back to our infinity free website. And inside the final manager, I'm going to go ahead and refresh. I'm inside my HT docs folder. I'm going to refresh this and you're going to see all my files have now appeared up on the web server. Now the question is, is my website working? Well, Looking back at the control panel, my website address is sylviasfoodwebsite.epz.com. So I'm going to copy that information. And what's important when I open up a new tab is I need to put www at the beginning of it and then put sylviasfoodwebsite.epz.com. If you don't put the www, probably won't work. I'm then going to go ahead and hit enter and it will take me to my site. Check that out. That's on the web. What? I can go to it on my phone too. So let's test it out on my phone real quick. This is just really cool because now what you can do is you can go to your website from any um, web browser essentially that is available and connected to the internet and see your website. So I'm gonna go to sylviasfoodwebsite.epz.com and there it is on my phone, same thing, okay? That is completely disconnected from my computer so you can see that this is now on the web. And what's cool is if I click favorite food, it's going to take me to the favorite food page and notice it says fave food HTML. If I go to least favorite food, it'll do the same thing. And here I'm seeing my actual website on the web. That's awesome. Okay. So this is your ability to get it up on the file manager. Now, if yours is not working, you need to let me know so I can help you out and make it so that it does in fact work.